Okay, so as as we moved uh, the canines down into excursive movements, you'll notice that uh, these touch the the premolar and the canine touch, but this the canine and canine don't touch. And this is one of the easier fixes in excursive movements. So again, the same thing on this side. That, the premolar and canine touch, but these don't touch. So this is, uh, and by, by one of the easier fixes, I mean um, you can move this canine without, the mandibular canines can be moved without affecting uh, very much of anything. Uh, so what we want to do for these is we're actually going to take the canine the mandibular canine now and move it up into excursion. Because one of the things is when I'm, when you move these back down, when you move the canines back down into occlusion, you're thinking not only, okay, do I need them, do I want them to touch the, the mandibular canine and the premolar, but you want them also to be in the correct uh, orientation, the correct arch position, everything. You want to make sure you maintain all of that stuff. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to move this canine basically just ever so slightly so so that it's touching in excursives. So now you see I have almost all the excursive movement contacts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we even picked up that one somehow, eight. So that, that's pretty, that's, that's pretty good excursive movement um, contact, or excursive contacts rather. So I'm going to loot this down and then do the same to the other side and then just double check things after we finish with that.